Chris Hilbeck in the Uruguay from Love the Planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And it's uh, uh, it's that time time of the week again. Uh, uh, Friday. Friday is when I drop my uh, 2000 AD review of the week. I, I review it every week. It, listen, if you haven't read 2000 AD for a while, and you're trying to work out if you want to pick it up, or, or where, where you are, or what's going on with the scripts, or because, you know, I find the recaps they do on there are, are, are just terrible. I, I guess this this is the video for you, baby. Or if you read it and you just want to hear what somebody else thinks, I get. I, I don't know why I'm trying to convince you to watch this video while you're actually watching the video. But you know, <laughs> I guess that's what I'm doing then. Uh, uh, like, share, subscribe, ring the little bells. I said to be notified when your uh, when new videos drop. And uh, if you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribed. YouTube are not a fan of people subscribing to me. They will unsubscribe, and they really will. It's freaking crap, and they'll do it over and over again. Uh, um, and you can consider hitting the subscribe button. That's really unbelievable be helpful and if there's anything you want me to cover just let me know baby uh, a comment also let you know let me know your thoughts you're gonna be super nice go check out my indiegogo uh it's going offline soon <laughs> soon i can finish bloody work on it i mean i thought the work was done I'm using a new printer. I got to adjust the file slightly, like teeny tiny, to uh, to to optimize them for it, and it's just taking a lot longer. A lot. I mean, this week should be the week one. This one is basically done. 220 pages. Uh, uh, I wrote and drew this biblical Bible source, atheist, crazy rationalist wrote. This is a comic book review, uh, 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 if I may say so. If you if you if you like my reviews and you 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 hold any st uh, uh, store by them, uh, uh, this is pretty good. <laughs> pretty good is uh kind of like the early uh vertigo books um uh, sam and swamp thing hellblazer basically when they stole all the british art, uh, uh, artists and writers uh to go work at dc uh that uh, uh, karen berger came over and just brain drained everyone and they made american comics this is what it's like. They're the type of comics I like. So that's 220 pages long. 105 pages is The Imperium. I love it. It's a telly fancy 1960s. Uh, artwork by Dominic Ratchet. Freaking awesome artwork. It's really good artwork. Uh, uh, imagine um, was it James Bond, uh, Doctor Who, Emma Pill, a monkey in the space suit, and a black slab from 2001. Bit of Prisoner, bit of Thunderbirds. It's just a lot of fun. Great backup strip called The Ice Warriors with uh, Savannah Cardicelli on the art. I, I, I wrote it. Uh, uh, and then you get a whole bunch of extras. You get uh, this poster. It was a pinup now. It's a poster because we got we had a lot of backers. It, it's done quite well. I'm really quite quite chuffed. Uh, uh, so you get the you know, uh, noble savages, lovely Leela and Rekha World from two uh, from a million years BC and time machine and K9. And then you get the for the male gaze cards, a bunch of postcards. You can uh, 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 you can you know amuse and uh, and uh, uh, you know enrage. The, the local vicar by sending him missives on, on, on them. Uh, these are all based on my uh, adolescent uh, masturbatory fantasies. And I'm pretty sure I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give anybody buying both books an option to get uh, an extra poster thrown in. Because you know what? You know what? Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, and everything's, ever, everything's very Doctor Who-y. I just like Doctor Who. What do, you, what do you want me to tell you? I like Doctor Who a lot. I also like uh, uh, um, 2008 D. Yeah, it's... Uh, do I like this issue? This issue is not bad. This issue is not bad, um, which means it's uh, which is good because a lot of times they do have bad bad issues. Um, yeah, above average. I'll call this one above average. Not bad cover. Uh, was it? Who do, who do, I mean, not bad cover. I do like the design on of the uh, of the the the, the maggot like uh, creature that a killer is holding up there. Uh, who did that cover? Patrick Goodard, who does the the. Uh, 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 the artwork in the strip. So what's this? Uh, Thrills of the Future starting in 2246. It's three weeks. Mayfly is the way forward. Well, it looks interesting. Listen, I'm always excited for, for a new story. But again, these backup, these these, uh, these uh, recaps are just awful. Right? These recaps are just I am mostly pointless right, at this point. So, okay. So the first uh, uh, strip every month is Judge Dredd. He's we judge it was in the middle where you got the color pages, right? Um, this strip's been going on for quite a while now. It said it's uh, well, eight weeks, so eight weeks long, and it's okay. It's a little, it was a little bit disjointed at first. Now I worked out what's going on with it. The 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 story structure of it was just confusing, right? Just confusing. So you got a, a very good artwork, though, by the way, by John uh, John Higgins. Um, I'm not going to say it is interestingly best, but it's it's some of the best work I've seen him do. Uh, seen him do. So the basic idea is. Uh, somebody who has a grudge against a group of... Uh, okay, I'll back it up a little bit. There's a uh, group that uh, um, that judges ju judges who think they got, got away with stuff and kills them called Justice Watch. 
Uh, and there, uh, and then there's a copycat using Justice Watts to take out people he has a personal grudge against. His brother is a priest in a church. I don't think they're churches anymore. It's in the, which is in the the, the undercity. Uh, and basically, you 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 following Dred's uh, investigation, trying to work out with it, which isn't bad. Actually, that 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 I, I like like the traditional sleuthing aspect of it. Um, uh, as I said, look, pr pretty dark. I mean, this is what it is like. Lots of sleuthing, trying to work out what's going on, and you get to hear the um, the motivation now. Uh, and I so I kind of worked out as soon as I saw this picture over here. Uh, Right, that bloke over here. I'm like, oh, I recognize that. I do recognize that being, being a long term reader. But then they go into like the the, the the framing device of now that's what I call justice, which is a riff on now that's what I call music, which I don't know if it's, if it's still around anymore. <laughs> you know, I've, I have no idea. Uh, 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 so it seems a little bit, bit, bit incongruous. And they're talking about the, the best justice kills of all time. And now when we get up to number three, we're talking about the killing of the, uh, uh, of the, of the uh, mother. Oh, the person who's copycatting, ki ki uh, killing them, and it ties into uh, one of the was it democracy stories from would have been the nineties, I think. Yeah, democracy, maybe the late eighties, right? It was uh, uh, when when the the uh, de uh, was it Democrats uh, uh, stormed in and took control of of the of the TV channel and demanded democracy now, and they were all, all like mowed down by Judge Dredd and friends. So it's it's the uh, one, the kids uh, of, uh, so, yeah, one, one of these two kids. Um, so now I, I, I'm working out why, why they have John Higgins on. I think he did the original strip, did he? Maybe because that, that looks very, very familiar to me. I think I think, I think he did the, the original strip. Uh, but as I look, John Higgins really not knocking out, knocking out the park. Uh, we got an ad here for Free Comic Day, Judge Dredd. Am I interested? How you and Casper won... What was it? Wingard? Wind, Never heard of him. Rob Williams, Simon Fraser. And, like, really... Do you, why not put the, the banner over the, 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 law, the, the law master? Uh, that comes out... Oh, that comes out tomorrow. Um, okay. If, look, there's a digital version of it. I guess I'll read it and review it. Why not? Um, Skip Tracer, Skip Tracer. I just find it very, very generic. It's it's not not uh, um, jetting with me, jetting with me at all. And you know, I really worked out what the problem is with, uh, that I have it with anyway. That when you think of like classic two thousand AD scripts, you can give an elevator pitch really, really easy. Yeah, like Road Trooper, last surviving genetically engineered uh, um, soldier in a in a future war, looking for the traitor that caused the death of his. Uh, clone brothers, right? And, they, and it, so it's, you get everything in there, right? In a strong to dog, uh, mutant bounty hunters in a in a somewhat re in, in in a racist future. Um, you know, I don't know what Skip Tracer is. He's a. He starts off as like a lovable rogue, um, uh, private detective sort of fixer minder type guy, and then it turns out he's got he was in the army, uh, military. And then somewhere along the lines, he gets magic powers or some kind of superpowers. And now it turns out he has a daughter. He doesn't know about it. And this is a bad guy. I don't think we've ever seen this bad guy before. Uh, and we're, I just, it all just seems quite, quite generic. Uh, uh, I'm just, yeah, whatever. And uh, most of this issue, he's in a dream sequence. Uh, that's his daughter, who's much older in the dream than in re uh, real life. Uh, and in real life, they're torturing him to get him to do something and now they're going to set the bad guy on his on his daughter and they need him to save them I, whatever fine so since the dexter is wrapping up and they're not since the dexter anymore this is just dexter um not a brilliantly uh uh written episode this there is way too much dialogue right just way too much dialogue way too much exposition there's a bit there's, how many is like five pages long there's about eight to nine pages worth of dialogue. There's just not enough time to make, let let it breathe. And I guess maybe they should have some more like stuff going on as they're doing the dialogue. But look, these are basically nine panel pages. Um, it, 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 it doesn't really work. It doesn't really work. Uh, the basic story is Sinister Dexter are uh, uh, assassin gun, uh, gun, gun sharks. Uh, and they... Um, uh, they like good friends, and they've been split up. There's an evil AI that's been that's been developed from a uh, a GPS, a sat nav, 
system, uh, and they, uh, was it, uh, uh, Dex has been killed off, then Rip resurrected, and he's working for the AI, and he, the AI is like, ed, yeah, edits his memories to make, make him hate Dexter, that's Sinister, wait, wait who is this one, is this, this Sinister or Dexter? It is Dexter, so Sinister's been, is, is a tool of the, the AI, and, uh, Dexter and, uh, and a couple of people he's with, can't remember who they are, are escaping through the other city where they where they had a previous uh, previous adventure, um, and uh, uh, the sister shows up uh, as, as and he wants to kill Dexter essentially. Hey, look, next week they're probably going to meet with each other and they're going to do something to reset uh, reset his head so they're friends again and they're going to take on the evil AI. And I, I get the feeling this is like the last one. They're wrapping the whole thing up, right? That's where I am. Uh, next strip, not a good one. This Tales of Terror was really bad. It was really bad. It was badly plotted. Bad idea. It was just bad on many, many, many levels. I first the artwork looks very, I don't know, uh, uh, dated. Look, yeah, it looks very, very dated. Looks like se second tier stuff from like the late seventies, early eighties. There's a lot of stuff. So there's been a there's a it's riffing on the pandemic, but the pandemic here is about vampires, and they're working in a magazine office, and they don't like it because they want to just work from home. And the, uh, uh, look, this is just a lot of their own personal angst we're talking about here. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm just okay. Uh, uh, I, I I just wish all the creators nowadays wouldn't. Uh, uh, think, oh, I'm upset about something. Let me just vent my spleen on it. I like if if they, well, if you can do it, do it well. I mean, look at Robert Holmes, who uh, Doctor Who, Doctor Who writer, he got a big tax bill one year, so he wrote the Doctor Who story, The Sun Makers, which like obliquely referenced it in the midst of the plot. Right? It, it, this is just, uh, uh, it's all about yeah, it's all about whatever's bo bothering them, and so. And then, and then the story just, just gets confused. I'm trying to work out what the hell's going on. They get trapped in the building, and then there's monsters there. They're eating them. They turn into werewolves. Then Boss is a bad monster guy as well. But then it all works out that... The, I don't know. I don't really even understand it. And I was like, it was just such a slog to read through this. Like, oh, I, I was going to go back and reread it and go, what the hell's going on? But it was. I was like, forget it. Just Oh, oh and it wasn't good. Really, really, genuinely wasn't good, uh, and it was a it was a chore to read. Um, uh, a killer uh, wasn't chore to read, which you can you can tell that Gordon, Gordon Rene is a competent writer because it it uh, the pacing of this is it it's easy, right? It's enjoyable, right? And uh, I'm still reasonably pissed off with 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 Gordon Rene because the last series of Aquila, he made the uh, a killer. Uh, he he made the bad guys the Jews because he was mad at Jews because Jeremy Corbyn lost, like, tr massively. <laughs> Essentially because he was a massive anti-Semite, and the Jews uh, uh, of England w w weren't so 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 into keep, keep, uh, keeping their mouth shut. So I was kind of pissed off with them about that. Like, really? Really? you got to have more of your freaking anti-Semitism displayed? Uh, fine, but that's over now. But at least he can write a bloody comic, right? So uh, they're on this quest in, in Hades. I can't remember what for. I can't remember what for. A killer. And is they're, they're trying to find somebody to find something else. Um, and they took out this big monster at some point, And this woman's trying to get them. And so she wants to cure the monster who's a mother of the... She's a mother of the monster. Um, I just can't remember a damn thing about what's going on. But at least it's, it's reasonably well told. Uh, so they're uh, they're looking for this dead soul this dead king and they found they find one uh and it's not him <laughs> he, he, he's done terrible things uh, uh another king's done terrible things then eventually they find uh, caesar um this is the 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 image from, from the cover and again i like this design i think this design is good it's creepy um it does the trick right it totally do, do, uh, um, does the trick uh, and so they found him, and now they got to get him out of Hades and carry him across the river Styx and put him back into a new body. So he's like, fine, fine. But the bad people, the woman with the monster, uh, are sending word to the, her bird-like allies to tear him to pieces, right? <laughs> Basically. So, yeah, I mean, look, honestly, it's, it's, it's a pretty standard... 
each week there's got to be some kind of supernatural battle in the underworld. Bit, bit, bit of hacker slashing. That's kind of what we get. That's kind of what we get. And, you know, it's fine. It works. It delivers, it delivers, you know, exactly what, what you want. Uh, 2000eshop.com. Again, this is just so indicative of what's going on in entertainment right now. We have Lawless and we have uh, uh, Hershey. Uh, where where everything is all everything's got to be female centric, like and it's fine to have a few things female, there, but everything is female centric. Everything is a female hero. I'm just kind of and and honestly, the strips aren't really that great, right? They're not that great. I'm kind of just done with it. I'm bored. I am just really really bored by it. And finally, we got an ad for something from the Ultimate Collection. Uh, which is shows you why I'm not getting the the, the ultimate collection, the essential to the not uh, a uh, graphic novel collection, uh, Mercy Heights. Yeah, look, that's not essential, freaking anybody, mate. Come on, I, wasn't that a, one of the '90s thing when two thousand or the early two thousands when two thousand AD was going through quite a massive slump? Yeah, this is not essential, right? It's really not essential. I have to tell you. Uh, Mega Collection was very really good. <laughs> yeah, like like Aquila. I wouldn't put that in a, in an essential collection. Uh, it's it's a the, the the real tragedy right now is 2008 is Judge Dread and a bunch of other strips. Right, no other strips are coming close to Judge Dread. Honestly, I think they should do go go back to the classics. Do have a, a they should have two classics in, in an issue. Have like Rogue Rogue Trooper or I don't know, and there's so many the ABC Warriors. You name it. I think ABC Warriors is normally. Uh, looks fantastic, but written really like Pat Mills is fast as prime uh, as a writer. His, his stuff just doesn't, isn't very good anymore, right? The Slain Run was just not very good anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, maybe try and work on building new heroes. Just, uh, uh, just it's not working, right? It's really not working. Having said that, it's a, it's an okay issue. I'll give this one six and a half out of ten. I think that's fair. Six and a half out, out of ten. Um, you know, to the day, looking back at uh, at better days and looking forward, uh, that hopefully we we will, we will have better days again because they're not really here right now. But again, as I said, six and a half out of ten. At least it's not bad, right? At least it's not. Which is where I started the review. It's not bad, okay? And that's really the best I can say about it. Bye, see you back in the Europe, bye from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah!